The world is ready. We know that. There is an increasing push for globalism. The new trick, which, by the way, some religious leaders are saying our biggest fear now is global warming. It's climate change. They say for the sake of climate change, a global government is required. Ladies and gentlemen, they have tried everything, and the last push is now underway. There's going to be a full court press, climate change, lawlessness, economic pitfalls, pandemics, supply chain shortages. The world is ready. Europe is ready. Israel is back in their land. The good news has been preached all over the world. The spirit of the Antichrist and its apostasies are all over. Lawlessness is everywhere. Everything is ready. The question is, are you ready? Psalm 128 for today's devotional. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in obedience to Him. You will eat the fruit of your labor, and blessings and prosperities will be yours. Your wife will be like fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Yes, this will be the blessing for the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you live to see your children's children. Peace on Israel. Psalm 128 is also what we call a wisdom psalm. It is a psalm that imparts wisdom to the reader through short phrases and vivid imagery. It's important to remember that just as the book of Proverbs, the wisdom passages in the Bible present wisdom to us rather than absolute promises. Now, everyone wants to be happy. Few people, however, are willing to follow God's way to get there. The world thinks being a Christian takes away your joy. They couldn't be more wrong. For the greatest joys in life come from knowing God and living under His blessing. And that, in a nutshell, is what Psalm 128 is all about. Psalm 128 breaks into two parts. The first part is a statement of blessing. The second part is a prayer of blessing. Now, Psalm 128 is a beautiful psalm that speaks of God's blessing to all those who fear the Lord, and it describes this blessing in terms of the ideal family. Psalm 128 teaches us that there is a direct relationship between your attitude and the actions of God's blessing in your life. God's blessing is available to everyone. You can choose to either welcome God's blessing in your life or you can choose to chase it away. It all comes down to fearing the Lord and walking in His ways. Blessed is he who fears the Lord. Thank you for listening.